Good morning. Today's lesson is 3.7. Rational numbers and coordinate plane. Our essential question, how do you plot ordered pairs of rational numbers on a coordinate plane? A coordinate plane is a plane formed by a horizontal number line called the x-axis. So this is my plane. Here is my x-axis. That intersects with a vertical number line called the y-axis. So there's my y-axis. This is where they intersect. The axis intersects at zero on both number lines, right there. The point where the axis intersects is the origin. An ordered pair is a pair of numbers such as three, two, that can be used to locate a point on the coordinate plane. The first number is the x-coordinate. So if I go over three, because that's the first number, it tells the distance moving left or right on the origin, so this way. The second number is the y-coordinate. It tells the distance to move up or down. The ordered pair for the origin, 0, 0, so there's 0, 0. But on this one, 3, 2, it's a positive 3 and a positive 2. So I go over 3, positive, and up 2, positive. So that's the point that they're doing for this one. Let's unlock the problem. A screen in a video game shows a coordinate plane. The points P, Q, R, and S represent the treasure chest. Write the ordered pair for each treasure chest location. If a point is to the left of the y-axis and its x-coordinate is positive, or is its x-coordinate positive or negative? Well, here's my origin, and if it's to the left, then it's going to be negative. See the negative numbers? To the left is negative, to the right is positive. If I go up, it's positive. If I go down, it's negative. So the answer is going to be negative. Okay, to find the coordinates of point P, start at the origin. So here's my origin, that's point P. So I'm gonna move two units to the, well, I have to go this way, to the left. Okay, and then, so I'm moving two units to the left. And then to get to this P, right, which I'm thinking is right there. I've got to move, whoops, it's right there. I've got to move one, two, three units up. So point P is located at negative two, three. Point Q, let's look at point Q. Here's my point Q right there. It's this little dot right there. Point Q, I'm gonna move one, two, three units to the left. So that's negative three. And then I'm gonna move one, two, three units down, negative three. Point R, find my point R. Here's my point R. I'm gonna move positive one, two, three, four. I'm gonna move um, positive one, two, three. So it's gonna be four, three. Point S, here's my point S right here. I'm not gonna move over at all because I'm gonna start at my origin and I'm gonna move, so it's gonna be zero. And then I'm gonna move down one, two. So zero, two. But that's negative two, because remember I moved down. Whenever you move down, it goes negative. Make a conjecture about the x-coordinate of any point that lies on the y-axis. Well, I can say that the x-coordinate of any point on the y-axis is gonna be zero. So any point, they're saying is, any point on this axis right here, the first number, the first coordinate is gonna be zero because you're not moving off to the left or off to the right, you're staying on the line. Explain why two and four represent a different location than four and two. Well, the points have different x coordinates and different y coordinates. So if I were to do this, two and four, two is gonna go over two and up four. But the second one is gonna go over four and up two, so you're gonna get two very different locations on your coordinate plane. Let's do another example. Graph and label the point on the coordinate plane. So we have, we're gonna graph point A and it's gonna be two and one half. So I'm going to move, first of all, two units to the right. Okay, so I'm gonna move two units to the right, so there's my two units. And then I'm gonna move a half a unit up because it's positive, or no, half a unit down because it's negative. So down. So if I'm plotting that, 
if this is a whole unit down, right, then half of a unit is going to be in between. So point A plot is going to be right there. Okay? Now let's plot point B. It's negative 0.5, which is a half, right, and zero. So that means I'm going to, my x coordinate is going to be negative, right? I'm just going to write neg. So that means I'm going to move 0.5 unit to the left because I'm going negative. And then the y coordinate is zero, so the point lies on the x axis, right? So if it's negative 0.5, remember this is 0.1, so halfway in between is going to be here. And since the second num no, origin number is zero, it's going to just be here. So this is going to be my point B. Plot, oh, we already plotted it. Next, we have point C. We have two and a half, which is positive, and three quarters. I'm going to make sure that I did this one right, the two and one half. So remember, you're, you're going to move two and one half units to the right because it's positive, and that's the positive direction. And then you're going to move three quarters unit up because, again, it's positive. So let's make sure we do this. We've got, we've got two and a half to the right. So we're going to go over two. And then remember, they're kind of, it looks like every two of these equals one. So that means one of these is going to equal the half. So that's going to be my um, x-axis. And then I'm going to move up three quarters. Well, if that's a whole and that's a half, then halfway in between these two is going to be three quarters. So let me put my dot right there and label it. And that's going to be point C. And then the next one is negative 1.25 and negative 1.75. So again, I'm going to start at the origin. I'm going to move 1.25 units to the left because it is negative. And then I'm going to move 1.75 units down because again it is negative. Now when I'm looking at this, I like to think in quarters. So one quarter, it takes four quarters to make a dollar. So it takes one quarter to make this, right? And 75 cents, it takes, that's three quarters. So it takes three quarters there. Just a little easier for me to think about. So as I'm looking, I'm going to get my pointer out again because it might be easier. I'm going to the left. So I'm going one. And then if it's a quarter, again, between one and two, that's kind of a half. And between the half and, the, and this number here is going to be my quarter. So it's going to go right in between there, right? So one and one quarter is about here. And then I've got to go down one and 75. So that's one. And again, if I'm thinking that this is a half, a quarter is going to be between the half and the whole. So my number is going to go right there. Okay, let me put that in there. All right, let's do some share and shows. Okay, so this one says, write the ordered pair for J. So now they've already plotted the points for us and they just want us to write them. So start at the origin and you're going to move. So here's my J. Now it's kind of confusing because normally you would say, I'm moving one, two, three over, and I'm moving one, two, three, four, five up. But if you notice, they've labeled these holes here, right? So this is actually a half. So when I'm moving to get to this J, I'm actually moving one hole and a half over. So I'm going to be moving one and a half units to the left, so it's negative. And then when I'm going this way, Again, I'm moving one, because see, there's my one, and I'm moving two, so there's my two, and then remember, in between the two is going to be a half. So then I'm moving two and a half units up. So my ordered pair is going to be negative one and one half, and two and one half. Let's write the ordered pair for the rest of these. So we have k. So here's k. k is right here. So to get there, I moved over one hole. And I move down negative one and a half, because remember it's in between. So it's going to be one comma negative one half. Okay, now let's look at L. L is right here. 
So I'm going to move over one hole, two holes, so it's going to be negative two, negative two, and then I'm going to go down. There's one hole, but it's not quite to this one, right? Because that, that hole's right there. It's actually in between the half and the hole, so it's going to be three quarters. So it's going to be negative one and three quarters. Negative one and three quarters. Okay, let's do the M. So here's my M. Well, I'm not, I'm moving it over one hole and it's on the X axis, so it's gonna be zero. So this one's gonna be one and zero. Okay, and looking at the answer key, um, and it doesn't really matter because I'm okay with either. On this particular one, they said negative two and one and um, seven five, which is three quarters. It's the same thing. Remember, it's just like when you're talking about a dollar bill. A hole is four quarters, three quarters is 0.75 or 75 cents, right? Two quarters is 50 cents or 0 0.50, and one quarter is 25 cents or 0.25. So either way for my class, but if you're watching this from a different class, um, your teacher might be looking for the decimal answer. Okay, so on this first set, you're going to be graphing the points. And on the second set, you're going to find what the coordinates are. So let me just do, I'm going to do one that might be more challenging just because I know some of you guys with fractions and, and decimals. So let's plot um, U. It's 0.75 and it's positive, so it's to the right. So again, that's a whole. So I know that's going to be a half. And 7, 5 is like 3 quarters. It's going to be in between the half and the whole. So it's going to be about right here. And then I've got to go up 1.25. So I'm going to go up 1. And again, it's just like uh, quarters. So 1 quarter is going to be in between the, the whole number and the half. So it's going to be right here. So let's plot that point. Okay. Um, you know, the easy ones are like right here, right? We've got W, which is 2 and a 0. So I'm going to go over two holes and it's going to stay because it's on the axis with, with zero. So then I'm just going to plot my point right here and then I'm going to write the W. So you can do the rest of those on your own or with a partner. And let me just do a couple of these down here. So let's find A. So here's my A. My A is right there. So I went over one, two, three, four holes and then I went up one, two, three, four. So my my plotted points is going to be 4, comma, 4. All right, the rest of these I think should be pretty easy. Do them on your own with a partner or I'll be available for you. Good luck.